Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how the brain monitors the temperature of the body. You should then be able to describe how the body responds if the body temperature is too high or too low. And this is for triple biology students only. In a recent video we looked at homeostasis. Remember that homeostasis keeps all of the body's internal conditions relatively constant. And this includes body temperature. Normal human body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Now, your body temperature is monitored and controlled by the brain, and scientists call this part of the brain the thermoregulatory center. The thermoregulatory center contains receptors which are sensitive to the temperature of the blood. The skin also contains temperature receptors. These send electrical impulses down sensory neurons to the thermoregulatory center. So the question is, what happens when the body temperature gets too high or too low? We're going to look to see how the body responds to restore the normal body temperature. Imagine that the body temperature gets too high. For example, if a person is exercising. Firstly, sweat glands release sweat onto the surface of the skin. The sweat now evaporates and this takes energy from the body, cooling the body down. The body can also cool itself down by flushing. Under the surface of the skin, we've got a fine network of blood capillaries. These capillaries are supplied with blood by blood vessels deeper in the skin. If we get too hot, the blood vessels supplying the capillaries dilate. In other words, they get wider. Scientists call this vasodilation, and that's a word that you need to learn. Because the blood vessels have dilated, this means that more blood flows through the capillaries. Heat can now transfer out of the blood. So the body temperature returns back to its normal level. OK, we're going to look now at what happens if our body temperature drops too low. And we're going to start by looking at the skin again. In this case, blood vessels supplying the capillaries constrict. In other words, they become narrower. Scientists call this vasoconstriction. Less blood now flows through the capillaries and less heat is lost from the body. Another way we respond when our body temperature drops too low is to shiver. When we shiver, our skeletal muscles contract. To generate energy for this contraction, the muscle cells increase their rate of respiration. This releases heat, which warms the body. And finally, if our body temperature falls too low, then we also stop sweating. So as you can see, in both cases, the thermoregulatory center detected that the body temperature had changed from the normal value. The body responded to reverse this change and restore the normal body temperature. So the control of body temperature is a good example of homeostasis. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on how the body temperature is controlled in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.